These are the two veteran astronauts who in less than 24 hours will be launched into space. But this is different. For the first time in history, astronauts will be using a commercial vehicle, riding in the Dragon capsule manufactured by SpaceX. America shaking off its decade-long reliance on the Russians to get astronauts to the International Space Station. Colonels Bob Benken and Doug Hurley have been rehearsing for this launch in recent days. Much is new, from their streamlined spacesuits to the fact that they are taken to the launch pad in a Tesla. Elon Musk is never one to miss a branding opportunity. But there will be space heritage tomorrow as well. The Falcon 9 rocket is on the legendary launch pad 39A, the same site that dispatched the Apollo mission to the moon. Two, one. Zero and lift off. And that saw the launch of the final shuttle mission, that of Atlantis, in 2011. One unique challenge this time for the SpaceX and NASA team has been ensuring the crew does not take the coronavirus into space. We have been in quarantine probably longer than any other space, uh, space crew has ever been in the history of the space program. For this experimental test flight, the astronauts insist they are ready. It takes a lot of uh, confidence and audacity to pull off a, a human spaceflight mission, but uh, you also need to be a little bit paranoid that uh, things can get complicated really quick and you need to be prepared for that. Lift off, aim high. SpaceX has been flying successful cargo missions for years. But the tension tomorrow will be of a different order, with American astronauts aboard and the pride and prestige of commercial spaceflight at stake. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.